What were you doing at 9 a.m. last Saturday? Can you remember? Well, if you are one of the thousands of passionate fans of Park Run, then you know exactly where you were. You were in a park with hundreds of other runners, walkers, and volunteers, starting a five kilometer course. This is the world of Park Run, a weekly open air timed event held in parks around the globe every Saturday morning. Some people have been doing Park Run for a long time and they are passionate about it. I've just finished my 100th Park Run. Today was my 132nd Park Run. I've done 151. I'm not actually sure of the exact number, 320 or something like that. I'm on 96. In four weeks' time, I get my 100th. Park Run is a community event. It is free and everyone is welcome. You can bring your baby or your dog or you can come in a costume for a special occasion. You can run fast or you can walk slowly. It's your choice. We've been friends for many years, Janice and I, and we run together in, uh, in park runs at least once a month. We run on, on a, a short tether. We wear bright clothing um, so people can tell that we're, you know, a guide and a, a, vi a visually impaired runner. So how did Park Run start? Park Run started in 2004 in Bushy Park, which is not very far from here, when some friends, I think 17 friends, decided that they would like to run 5K in the park. And they enjoyed it so much that they decided they would do it every Saturday. And then some more people came and more people came and it became an event. And then another one started and that's how it grew. The park run is all over the world. There are park runs in 19 different countries now. Um, and I've been lucky enough to park run in lots of different countries in Australia, in Ireland, in France, and in Germany, and of course here. This is North Alla Fields in North London. The park opened in 2008 and since 2014 it's been the home to a fun, friendly and very busy park run. Like every park run, the North Alla Fields event is organised by a group of dedicated and enthusiastic volunteers. For many park run fans, or park runners as they are known, volunteering is just as important as running. I enjoy running it but actually I'd probably enjoy volunteering more because I get the satisfaction of seeing everyone enjoying it. By the time the park runners start to arrive at 8.45 a.m. the volunteers have already been working for about half an hour, setting up the course and getting ready. For some people, today is their first run. They are first-timers. A volunteer talks to all the first-timers. Before coming to the park, they had all registered online and printed a copy of their own unique barcode. At 8.55, Louise, the run director, gives a short talk. Runners and volunteers who have reached park run milestones, they've volunteered or run a certain number of times, are congratulated by the crowd. And runners who've come from other places, known as park run tourists, are welcomed. At nine o'clock, it's time to go. As every
every person crosses the finish line, a volunteer records their time on a stopwatch and they are given a finishing token. Then another volunteer scans this token and the runner's own barcode. And that's it! It's time for the runners and walkers to relax. However, the volunteers have more work to do. They upload all the barcode and stopwatch information to Parkrun's computer system and sort the finishing tokens ready for next week. In a couple of hours, all the park runners will get an email or text with their time for today's run and a link to lots of other information about the event. Today, 384 people finished the park run at North Alla Fields and nearly 150,000 completed a park run across the UK. Doing exercise in a park at 9am on a Saturday morning is a surprising thing to get passionate about. So what's the attraction? What does Parkrun mean to its fans? Parkrun is an essential part of my Saturday morning. It's um, not a proper weekend if it doesn't start with Parkrun. Parkrun for me means a friendship, uh, enthusiasm and uh, enjoyment. It's meeting all the people, it's a great atmosphere. It's hard to describe really and it's, I think until you've been there it's hard to understand just how friendly and supportive and how much fun it is. Parkrun means keeping nice and healthy and meeting new friends. Some enthusiastic parkrunners collect runs. They proudly wear their milestone t-shirts that show how many times they have run or volunteered and they are always looking for new reasons to visit different park runs around the country and the world. People invent all sorts of different reasons for going to different park runs, like going through the alphabet, so they have to do from A to Z. That can take them abroad, <laughs> especially things like Z. Don't worry, you can't come last. There's always a volunteer tail walker at the back. They are the final person to cross the finish line. You can't win a park run either. There's a first finisher, but your own personal best is more important. And if you need a little bit of help getting round the course, there will be someone there for you. You can go online to see all your runs, so you can check your progress. Some people who've been running for years have come a long way since their first time. And I started off walking at the back and getting slowly faster and faster. So it's been my road to fitness. It's also made me an amazing amount of friends, really, really good friends. So after having completed over 300 runs, what advice does Lindsay have for someone thinking about trying park run? Do it. It's very scary to start with, but there will always be someone at your pace. It doesn't matter what your pace is, there will always be someone at your pace. Um, do it, get out there, take the big step, go for it. You, you won't look back. <laughs>